this week. Just wanted to chat about some things you can do early season as we come out of winter in the Northern Hemisphere and uh, start getting back on our bikes. And for those of you guys in the Southern Hemisphere, Australia and New Zealand, maybe this is something you can do at the end of the season as well. So something I like to do early season is aside from just get out there and pedal and get the lungs working again, which you can hear right now. So excuse me if I'm puffing. It's my first ride back after a long few months of snowboarding. Um, but anyway, something I like to do is go through my bike setup the first few rides. Um, today, to give you an example, I pumped my tires up pretty high. I think it was about 28 in the back, uh, 27 in the front, which is quite high for me. I run a 2.6 Maxxis 3C on the front, XO Plus casing, 2.5, same tire, Maxxis Minion on the rear. Love those tires, ton of grip for cornering, which uh, is something I really look for in how my bike handles. And what I've done the first lap is just gradually let a bit of air out from the front tire just to get the front tire a little softer, more pliable, and to feel a bit more grip. And by going through that process early season, it just tunes you into your bike setup, excuse me. And uh, I guess if you're familiar with some of those fundamental things on a bike, too much air in the tire, you know, it rolls really fast, but I lose cornering grip, I lose a bit of bump absorption on the rough stuff. And it just starts, A, getting a, your bike set up for the season, and B, just starts you thinking again about your equipment and how it can really impact, how it can help or hinder your riding. And all too often when we're coaching, big thing we do in Zep straight away is bike setup. And countless number of times every year we we let some air out of someone's tire or we <clears throat> speed up their rebound or something very simple and you can see often see an immediate effect and long story short what's the takeaway mountain bikers have some amazing equipment these days but we're not always utilizing it to the best of its ability and just taking some initial thoughts on your bike setup it can uh, make your reading, riding safer, more comfortable, more consistent, and you haven't spent any money. So it seems like a really easy place to start with wanting to ride better is bike setup. So I'll include a few more videos uh, coming up, and each video will kind of touch on something similar. Today I'm doing tire pressure. I'm probably going to end up with about 23 or 4 on the front and uh, around 25 or 6 on the back. Um, I'm a big believer in aggressive, confident, inspiring tyres. So I have more traction on the climbs, more traction in the corners, more traction in the descents. Compromise might be a little bit of rolling resistance, but for 90% of riders out there, including me and my buddies and our Zeb coaches here in Whistler. We, uh, we prioritize grip, confidence and handling over pedal performance. Uh, but again, it depends where you live, where you ride, what you ride, food for thought. Anyway, hope you find that useful and uh, we'll check back in next week with another piece of bike setup. Stay safe. Keep apart from each other, wash your hands, I'll see you soon.